This classic California beach town is synonymous with sun, sand, and summer fun. Most tourists head straight for the boardwalk and don't get much farther than the nearby sandy beaches and fishing pier. However, Santa Cruz has so much more to offer. Spectacular seaside scenery, a historic mission church, and a charming downtown reward visitors who explore further. Just a short drive from Santa Cruz is the gorgeous Highway 1 route alongside Monterey Bay, with amazing ocean views. Nature lovers appreciate Santa Cruz for its serene beaches and unspoiled landscapes. Breathtaking coastal hiking trails are found at the rugged Welder Ranch State Park, while lush Mediterranean flora and pink-throated hummingbirds thrive in the Santa Cruz Arboretum and Botanic Garden. Santa Cruz also offers interesting cultural attractions. Tourists can attend a Shakespeare performance on a starry night in a magical redwood glen. There's also a surfing museum that gives visitors a taste of California surfing culture. Pack your bags and start planning your next Southern California vacation with the best places to visit and things to do in Santa Cruz. Number 1. Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk The Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk delivers classic summertime fun, complete with amusement park rides, games, and tourist attractions. There is no charge to enter the expansive seaside amusement park, and you can decide between all-day unlimited rides access, a season pass, or a pay-as-you-go My Boardwalk Play card, ideal for those who are not staying the whole day. The park overlooks the main beach and has been delighting visitors since 1907. It's considered one of the best seaside amusement parks in the world because of its fantastic setting and historic roller coaster rides. The Giant Dipper, a wooden roller coaster built in 1924, is classified as a National Historic Landmark. Other activities include thrill rides, family rides, and kiddie rides, with a good mix of classic and modern designs to suit every taste. Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk also offers dining options. The beachfront boardwalk is also full of food vendors, where you can treat yourself to goodies like corn dogs, deep-fried artichokes, chocolate-coated ice cream, cotton candy, and salt water taffy. Number 2. Main Beach and Cowell Beach Besides the boardwalk, the main reason to visit Santa Cruz is the beach. The sunny Mediterranean weather, sandy shores, and safe waters make Santa Cruz one of the best beach destinations in California. Visitors can choose from several excellent beaches. The two most popular are Main Beach, adjacent to the boardwalk, and Cowell Beach, which is next to Main Beach on the other side of the wharf. Popular for sunbathing and swimming, Main Beach is also great for kids. There's enough room for little ones to spread out and make sandcastles, and because the beach is in a sheltered cove, it is safe to wade in the waters. Beach volleyball players also flock here to take advantage of the sand volleyball courts. In the same cove as Main Beach on the opposite side of the wharf, Cowell Beach is a famous surfer's spot. This stretch of sandy shoreline is also known for its coastal views and beautiful sunsets. Number 3. The Surfing Museum and West Cliff Drive Santa Cruz claims to be the original California surf town, and this picturesque section of the Monterey Bay is a favorite surfer's spot. A bronze surfer statue is found along the path, as is the world's first surfing museum. The surfing museum is housed in the Mark Abbott Memorial Lighthouse on a bluff overlooking the crashing waves. The small exhibit shows memorabilia, such as vintage photos of surfers in the 1930s. A six-mile pathway on West Cliff Drive hugs the coastline and provides a scenic route for walking and cycling. Along the way, the views of the Pacific Ocean are truly breathtaking. The path is completely flat and wheelchair accessible, making this sightseeing route appropriate for all ages and fitness levels. Well-positioned benches invite passersby to sit back and soak up the panoramas of undulating deep blue seas as seagulls soar above and flocks of pelicans hover near the water. Number 4. Seaside Town and Beach of Capitola With its sheltered sandy beach featuring gentle turquoise waves and pastel-painted waterfront houses, Capitola is reminiscent of a Mediterranean fishing village. 
This charming seaside village was California's first beach resort, and the picturesque setting has made it a tourist-favored destination for over a century. Several quaint streets wend through the small downtown area of Capitola, which overlooks the beach and gives the village a refreshing quality. Many of the town's cafes and restaurants have ocean views. Visitors enjoy strolling through the town to browse the boutiques, as well as taking walks along the Bayside Esplanade. Right next to the downtown, Capitola Beach is a popular spot for sunbathing, swimming, and surfing. Because the waters are calm, it's also a good place for boogie boarding and stand-up paddle boarding. Other things to do include fishing from the Capitola Wharf or taking a fishing excursion by boat in the bay. Boat rentals are available from Capitola Boat and Bait. Foodies should be sure to make a stop at Gale's Bakery in Rosticuria, a short drive from the Capitola Beach and downtown area. Number 5. Santa Cruz Wharf The Santa Cruz Wharf was built in 1914 to serve deep water vessels, however today it is used as a fishing pier and sightseeing vantage point. Tourists will find plenty of shops and things to do at the wharf, and it is one of the most popular places to sample the local seafood. One of the best restaurants on the pier, Stagnero Bras, serves fresh seafood, including classic dishes like fish and chips, in a dining room with stunning bay views. Bird watching and sea lion viewing are other reasons the wharf is so popular with tourists. Sea lions make their home here year-round, and their splashing and barking is easily heard from the pier. A viewing area allows visitors a good look at the sea lions resting on the pier structure. The wharf also has water sports shops that rent fishing gear, boats, and kayaks, so that you can get closer to the wildlife and enjoy the water. Right by the wharf is the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary Exploration Center. Number 6. Natural Bridges State Beach The remarkable sea arch that graces this beach was formed from the fractures in mudstone cliffs. With its iconic natural beauty, this small protected sandy beach is an excellent place to visit for relaxation and birdwatching. The location is also ideal for viewing migrating whales from April through November. Sometimes seals and otters can be seen playing just offshore. Farther along, the beach has tide pools that are home to sea stars, small crabs, sea anemones, and other ocean creatures. During springtime, the park near the beach is filled with vibrant wildflowers. From mid-October to mid-February, the park's monarch grove, declared a natural preserve, comes alive with monarch butterflies. November is the best time to observe the monarchs. The beach has a picnic area with barbecue pits and restroom facilities, located in a shady grove of pine and eucalyptus trees. Number 7. Wilder Ranch State Park Wilder Ranch State Park lies four miles north of downtown Santa Cruz, immediately west of Highway 1 and bordering the UC Santa Cruz campus. With 35 miles of trails on 7,000 acres, this unspoiled nature site is an inspiring place to go hiking, biking, and horseback riding. The scenic trails wind through valleys and coastal terraces with sensational ocean views. Tourists can also learn about the lives of California's early ranchers by visiting the park's historic dairy ranch. Here, visitors can explore an 1859 Gothic Revival farmhouse and an 1897 Victorian home, the ranch's barns and rodeo arena, and other historic structures. The park charges a day-use parking fee. Guided tours are offered on Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. Reservations are not required. Number 8. Dolphin and Whale Watching Cruises Santa Cruz is just a 45-minute drive from the historic waterfront town of Monterey and is situated alongside the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, one of the largest marine sanctuaries in the United States. This protected ocean environment extends for 276 miles along the coastline and provides habitat for 36 marine mammal species and 525 fish species. This area, off the coast of Monterey, is one of the best places to visit in California to take whale watching and ocean wildlife sightseeing cruises. Cruises depart from the Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey. A half-day whale watching tour from Monterey gives passengers the chance to spot gray whales, 
humpback whales, and blue whales, depending on the season. Each year, from April through November, humpback whales migrate through the region, and there is also a small population of humpbacks that stick around all summer. Gray whales are also very common here, and a migration season of December through April gives winter tourists the opportunity to experience whale watching. Number 9. Santa Cruz Harbor The Santa Cruz Harbor shelters two large marinas and provides boating access to the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. The harbor is a hub for sailing, kayaking, and other recreational water sports, such as stand-up paddleboarding. Visitors may rent kayaks and paddleboards. Several companies at the harbor offer charter boat fishing excursions, private sailboat trips, or yacht charters. The Sea Spirit Ocean Safari focuses on whale watching and ocean wildlife viewing. Keeping watch of the coastline, the Walton Lighthouse stands on a jetty at the harbor. The lighthouse was constructed in 2002. Tourists will appreciate the dining options at the harbor. The restaurants feature a lively ambience, gourmet cuisine, and waterfront views.